Yeah. Uh, what are we missing here, though, Linda? Oh, look, I don't think that the Liberal Party has any grounds to talk about leadership tension after the former government and the amount of knives I we saw there. I don't disagree with you. Malcolm the, Turnbull ruined the Liberal Party. The Prime Minister is right and to point out... Uh, the Prime Minister is absolutely right to point out that he ran unopposed and he won with this really significant mandate. Yeah, and he's, vote. he continues to be absolutely enormously popular. Third I've now marched with him uh, two Saturdays in a row in Sydney. Uh, people are Quite absolutely enamoured with him. They They're cheering him, at the tennis. Cheering I get it. I get him it. in every state and territory that he goes to. He's visiting places in remote parts of Australia. That he's taking cabinets to remote Western Australia. People have never done Wasn't that. He's getting an overwhelming response wherever he goes. And his popularity and ratings have just gone up and up and up. There's very few, Bronwyn Bishop aside, who would not argue he's doing a magnificent job oh. as leader. And when oh. you talk to most Australians, even those you who throw me in that bucket him, too. Can I be the uh, Bronwyn as well? As well? Yeah. Yeah. On yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. You feel like the Conservative on Q&A now. <laughs> ah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. um, I, I do think, though, that for, for many, many Australians, you even agree. those who didn't vote for him, they continue to publicly say that he's doing a fantastic job. So, uh, I'm look, sorry, he was they elected. Did. Not he's now. unopposed. Well, we'll see. Oh, I think there's a news poll coming out that, tonight. Bronwyn, we'll see. I, I think he remains incredibly but, popular. But just, indeed, I, more popular than he was yeah. when he was elected as the Prime Minister. Look, and we'll see what happens with it when it comes to Aston. Um, again, I still think in that scenario that you should be thinking about Labor winning more than the Libs because of the primary vote previously. But if it's about interest rates, if it's about if it's actually about cost of living, but then the last election was about cost of living and then they did nothing after it and you know, still get the higher fives. Hence why no, my advice to both sides of the New South Wales election is, yep, 50% say the number one issue is cost of living. Just lie. Because apparently it doesn't matter. Apparently it doesn't matter. Peter Malinowskis told the truth going into the South Australian election, which was, I'm not actually in charge of that stuff. Uh, he won anyway, but they decided to put that out and Thankfully, we have it and I have a big A3 version of it in my office.